Hello everybody, welcome to the Building Limits, and today we are going to start our first our first video off with a very uh, well tutorial, very good tutorial, yeah, good tutorial, what am I saying? But, um, so we're going to be making a hot air balloon, and it just looks sick, so yeah, let's get started. And, uh, so the first thing you're going to do is place one uh, stone brick block just in the sky don't place it down on the ground make sure to have it <clears throat> up in the sky because that will um you know it's a floating air balloon not only that but it just won't work if you uh don't so you're gonna place that then you're gonna take oak wood planks and just wrap it around the whole thing like that All right then take your uh oak wood stairs put them upside down in each one on the on each side like this so the whole thing should be kind of a star, I guess. And then take your oak wood planks and kind of make, place one on the stair and then on the sides like I'm doing here. So it ends up being like this. All right, so you're kind of making a basket right now. Then take your trap doors and not in the middle, but on the sides, uh, place them, fold it up. So as I said, this is, you know, your basket where, uh, People are gonna sit. So then, once you have this, go to the bottom, and you're gonna place a, one fence in the middle on the stair block, one to the left and down, one to the left and up, one to the right and down, like that. So basically, in all corners except for that one, like this. All right. Then this middle one, you're gonna add one. This one, you're gonna add two. This one, you're gonna leave alone, and this one, you're gonna add three. So it's four in total, two in total, one in total, three in total, I guess. All right, then uh, clear a space and do slash give space your name space 99. And it will give you a mushroom block, which you will place on the bottom of all of these, um, all of the hanging things. Then take oak wood slabs and put them. And these are kind of like the kind of the things that dangle from the balloon I guess I guess you could call it that yeah so you got your most of your basket is done now you're just gonna um, go one two three four four so it's four like that and then you're going to add your stone brick uh, stone brick stairs around it and just place a torch on the top like that and this is gonna be your little flame you could actually put a nether rack and then light it and make it like that but it will burn not only the wool but uh, the fences too. Which so now the thing on two of the sides you're gonna uh, build fences up three. So for the plane, there's been in the background. There's been a lot of planes flying over my house today. I'm, I'm just that popular. No, but so add these up three on two sides. Don't go up on those two. Just the three. All right. Now the next thing you're gonna do is take white wool. Make sure you're gonna have two colors. Make sure one of them is white. The other one can be anything you want. And you're just going to place them on the sides like this then build them up on each side then put one down on each side so it would look like this from the side it would look like this now your next thing you're gonna do is you're gonna kind of form a T so you're gonna go like this and make a T so not not from down there but just like a T and you're gonna do that on both both sides and then on these sides you're going to do another T but just not as uh, long because you still want to see that connected fence right there because it will just look better and all right so now you have this and now the final part with the white wall is you're gonna go you know a diagonal block and you're just going to bring it all the way around deleting corner blocks when I say corner blocks I mean like delete you know the blocks that you obviously had to use to place the uh, place the blocks there whoops just like that all right so now that you have done this it should look like this then you are going to take buttons and on the block above the connected fence post you're gonna just put a button don't put one right here just on the sides then get your second color uh, <clears throat> should I do green wool or cyan I'm gonna, uh, I'll do cyan 
Uh, those are my two favorite colors, but uh, you can use any color you want. Don't do white on white. Uh, maybe light gray might look good if you're going for like old fashioned or whatever. But you're just going to take it and in these, uh, you're going to fill in the corners like this. All right. So you're going to fill in the corner corners, make them look nice like that. So it's basically a square, which right now looks really, um, right now looks kind of bad. I mean, this looks very derpy. that I was just uh, reading my volume so then once you have these 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 the square you're going to on these white uh, make three like this just on the edge and uh, <clears throat> after you've done that it should look something like this so yeah it's looking very uh, very interesting right now then uh, you're gonna take on this blue line you're gonna kind of make a little a box with a hole in the middle of it just like this on all of the uh, on all the squares yeah then a uh, clear spot get glowstone and with your glowstone just fill in those holes cuz uh, that's what you gotta do just fill in all of the holes and then it uh, whoops add trap doors on top of the glowstone just it looks makes it look very nice and plus this will light in light up the inside of it too so no mobs uh, no mobs spawn in it that's what I yeah just spaz out no but no mobs will spawn in it so then um on these corner blocks right here you're gonna go up one and down one up one down one on all of them up one down one simple as that up one down one then on these main ones you're gonna add one on the top add one on both sides then add two on the bottom all right so add one add one add one add two you're just gonna repeat that <clears throat> all the way around the balloon so this is an original design that uh, I came up with I used to build it a lot a while ago experimenting with different colors and whatnot but uh, I thought why not make a tutorial on it so it's looking very nice and now where you see these uh, blue squares that are down, you're going to go up three. So one, two, three, you're going to add three to them on all of them. And I'll tell you why you're doing this in a second. So yeah, once you have that, then you're just going to simply connect them like this. Connect them across just like this. All right. And so it should look like this. All right. Then on these three, Add them so you're kind of making, you know, like a little arc right there. Just add three, and it's actually getting to be my time out, so I'm gonna have to make something where it makes always day. Shouldn't be hard, but you're just gonna add three all the way around like this, alright? Then, uh, of course, you know, add your, add your middle block, uh, like this. And then you're going to, one last time, uh, build it up just like this. So you're kind of making a, not a pyramid, but uh, you know, like this, all right? So it should overall just look like this right now. And now what I want you to do is fill in the entire top, all right? And then just make a plus on the top, like that. So I hope I didn't go too fast. That is the, uh, the whole tutorial. I mean, yeah, I've seen some of my friends after I've built uh, these, you know, they add stuff inside the balloon, like maybe a table or something. But I just like to keep it the balloon, the balloon, and the basket, the basket. So I think that's what they call it, the basket. I'm not sure. That's probably very incorrect. But so yeah, that is the uh, the air balloon tutorial. Let me get a good view of it here, and then just well, uh, sorry, I meant to screenshot right there. So I'm just gonna. I did not mean to stop the recording. So anyway, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I will make sure to uh, have this uploaded, edited on Monday and everything for you guys. And yeah, I hope you enjoy. If you if you do, you know, remake a video for a tutorial of this, I mean, it takes more than five minutes to first of all, come up with the creation, memorize it, let alone, I mean, this is very kind of advanced memorization, and then take the time to edit it and post it, make a thumbnail, make it all nice and stuff. So if you're gonna repost it, just or re-edit uh, it, or use it in your world, just make sure to maybe give you know me some credit, or if your friend asks, 
just say, yeah, you know, the building limits made it. Go check them out on YouTube or something like that. Uh, you don't have to, but just don't take credit for it, I guess. Don't say that you made it in a tutorial. And that's pretty much it. I am talking too long. So, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.